a must-do mod when you lift your Jeep Wrangler. When you install a lift and add bigger tires to your Jeep, be prepared for other modifications. The Jeep comes off the assembly line with the Rezeppa Constant Velocity Joint Drive Shaft. This drive shaft works great when you keep your Jeep at factory height with factory sized tires. When you decide to lift your Jeep and add larger tires, that's not always the case. You change the drive line angle when you lift your Jeep and the factory joint will eventually break down or wear down. Factory drive shafts are not the toughest and can easily break down or wear down faster off-road with the stress of a lift and larger tires. The number one place where you should check for leaks if you still have your stock front drive shaft and you've upgraded your tires and a lift is the front drive shaft and what you can do is get under your Jeep like I have and I have a uh, aftermarket drive shaft on my Jeep now, but up in here, this area, you will see grease splatter if your front drive shaft, your stock drive shaft, is leaking oil. So it's a good idea to upgrade that factory drive shaft before you hear a clunk or a snap and find yourself stuck on the trail or the road with a broken one. I decided to be proactive once I lifted my Jeep and I noticed the leaking grease. I replaced mine with a Tom Woods custom drive shaft. The Tom Woods drive shaft is a double cardigan joint, which allows more movement. The stock drive shafts are larger in diameter than the Tom Woods, so when you lift your Wrangler, there's a probability of the factory drive shaft resting on the exhaust, which causes more issues. You're going to see this issue with three inches or more of lift, even after 20 to 30 K miles on or off road driving. The Tom Woods drive shaft have a smaller diameter, which allows the suspension to drop without touching the exhaust. Don't get caught off guard with a clunk or a snap after you've put that new shiny lift and tires on. Consider upgrading your drive shafts.